Welcome back to San Antonio Living. It's a popular backdrop for bridal portraits, and every school year, many children enjoy a field trip to our state's first museum of modern art, I should say. But the McNay Museum has been closed since January, and there's good reason for that. Something new has been in the works, and it will be unveiled to everybody this weekend. And today, we've got a preview for you. Hello, I'm Bill Kiego, director of the McNay Art Museum and I'm pleased to welcome you. Uh, we're here in front of Mrs. McNay's original home. The museum has always had this as its trademark view. There have been several renovations here at the McNay. Let's go inside and take a look at some of them. Here we are in the lobby of the McNay home, which is now the lobby, original lobby of the museum. And among the many features that have been restored are the beautiful stencil ceiling and spandrels in this room. At the McNay, not all the art hangs on the walls. The newest masterpiece is the sophisticated ceiling hovering over a simple hallway at the Jane and Arthur Steering Center, the newest extension at the McNay. It's different because it's, it's all about light. And the use of light. So this roof that you can see here, it's actually made of four layers. Its design allows sunlight to be cut and softened. And allows the light to penetrate into the exhibition space. And to illuminate the pieces of art in just the right light. So that you look at the work of art as they were prepared by the artist. And the artist's work shows off some of the most recent art the McNay staff has collected. The painting is called Hudson River Dayline. All from the last 50 years, from all over the world. The art of the present. Until now, space was limited. Not every painting and sculpture was on display. But now every masterpiece has a home, thanks to the renovations. As you see here, we've got our koi pond behind us with pagoda and very often we'll have weddings here. One of uh, the McNay's highlights is that it really is such a beautiful ground, um, quite a gem here for San Antonio. So if you look in the newspaper every Sunday, you'll see multiple brides who've gotten their photos here. We consider it really to be an oasis in the middle of the city. One of the great things about having young people in the museum is they just really light up and turn on when they look at works of art. The slope seating of this new theater can make the cell phone and children's tours feel like a trip to the movies, but with no cost. Well, you know, sometimes when parents come in with their children, they feel a little intimidated because maybe they don't know everything about the art, but it's a great chance to explore and learn things together. And that's a special joy for us. And we think it can be a special joy for families, too, as they go through the museum. The public is invited June 7th and 8th to the reopening of the McNay. And we hope the whole community will come out and celebrate with us. And again, the McNay Museum reopens with a weekend of fun activities for the whole family. You can get more information on that at the McNay's website. That's www.mcnayart.org. Org. And there you can also learn about tours, plus great summer classes and activities for adults and kids this summer. Now, to give you a little more history on the McNay, it was built back in the 1920s as a home for the McNay family. Then in 1954, it opened as our state's first museum of modern art, which is really cool. And more than 100,000 people go by and check it out every year, and they're expecting even more given the renovations. And the $50 million renovation project, all paid for, all the money was raised and accounted for, which is a big accomplishment for our community, showing that we truly support the arts. And do want to let you know that they're going to kick off the brand opening or reopening this weekend, the 7th and 8th. They're closed on Mondays, but then they'll be back to their regular touring schedule next Tuesday. And do want to let you know there is a way to see that beautiful artwork for free every Thursday evening it is free from four until nine and then the first sunday of the month as well and the grounds are also open and they they welcome you to come out there with the kids have a bridal portrait there have a picnic they truly want the mcnay to be the heart of the city as it is so if you haven't been there in a while if you've never been there you got to check it out i went on a field trip with my second grader back in december before they closed for the renovations and had a great time we saw um jackson pollocks we also saw picasso's all kinds of beautiful artwork that you will remember for a lifetime. So check it out. All right, we'll be right back in just a moment.